Why is Jukin's media extortion of MXR plays a really big deal? Hear me out. It's not just defending a channel, but it's defending also fair use. It's defending freedom of speech, freedom of expression, and good old American values in the Constitution, quite honestly. Now hear me out. Imagine you live in a world where someone invented a time machine and you used to build time machines in high school so you're looking at the pictures and the video and you're like this is pretty cool but you notice something about it that could make it dangerous that might make people get stuck back in time or the time machine would explode in transit so you make a video and you show the 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 picture and you say this chipset is wrong and this and that and this and that and this and that and this and that right your video starts to pick up steam people start to watch it uh they've noticed that some people are kind of you know, getting stuck back in time. But here comes this big corporation or this big government entity. It matters not. This big entity comes in and says, hey, you know, you used a picture out of that video, so we're going to fine you $1,500. Because this is a world where fair use does not exist, right? So now next time someone builds a transporter device and you're looking at the pictures and you're like, man, I, I built one of these in college. This, this device here is wrong. It is substandard. It's going to kill people. But you can't make a video out of it because there's no fair use. And people are going to die. That's one reason why fair use is so important. But there's so many others. Because it's freedom of expression. Freedom of transforming someone's work and saying, look, this is how I believe this person is wrong, or this is what I think of this, or this is what I see on this. And if we go down this slippery road of allowing this great big corporation to swoop in and extort someone and hold the value of their life, because if your channel is your livelihood, that is your life. That is what pays your bills, that is what you use on your time, and they're holding it over your head. They're saying, you can't do this because you need to pay us for it. Fair use is a tool that the American people use to help spread news, to help stop bad news and bad ideas. Imagine, if you will, Tide Pods being eaten, even though they weren't really being eaten. That was kind of a bunch of hoopla over not really much. But a couple people did eat Tide Pods because, well, idiots. You can't fix stupid, okay? You just can't fix stupid. If someone's going to eat a Tide Pod, they're an idiot. And you can't do anything for them. But imagine if one person was allowed to make a video saying Tide Pods are cool and we didn't have fair use where someone could make a video saying, no, Tide Pods are not cool to eat. And this person makes a video and they say, hey, Tide Pods are great. Eat them, eat them, eat them. And nobody can speak up against it. And it's on the internet. Well, the only way to fight a story on the internet is on the internet. But if nobody can make a story refuting it and saying it's a bad idea, well, more people, not a lot of people because most people are going to have common sense, but more people are going to be gullible and fall into it. And I hate to call MXR plays gullible, but it was a gullible move for them to pay. Jukin Media is acting like scammers. They're following the, following the exact MO as scammers. They send out emails to mass amounts of people saying, you need to pay us this money, $49. $49. Uh, and then people who pay the $49 have exposed themselves as being gullible. Therefore, the company looks at it like they paid this $49. They don't know what the law is. They don't know what the rules are. They don't know what the Constitution says. They don't know about fair use. And they use that and abuse that to extort more money and more money and more money. And they will squeeze every last drop out of someone that they can. We've all heard those stories or we've had grandparents or parents that are elderly that have fallen for these scams online and that's exactly what this is. This is just a scam. This is a company trying to make money and it's illegal of them to do it. But the end all is this. It affects all of us. It affects free speech. It affects your right to expression. It affects every single news corporation out there. Even the mainstream media. Imagine if you couldn't 
show a video or pictures there's war going out there's an explosion and you look at this explosion you see hey this explosion is starting a war this country thinks that this country did it but this explosion that people are saying is happening online was actually from three months ago because i've got that picture and i want to compare the pictures and show you that the explosion pattern and the background and and the smoke pattern is exactly the same someone has just take it, taken it and photocopied it into this photo and said that this thing happened and we're getting ready to go to war over this lie what are you going to do what are you going to do if you don't have fair use? What are you going to do? Fair use is a tool. And it's freedom of the press as well. I mean, you can't report any news stories without fair use. You can't. You cannot do it. We're having a hard enough time right now reporting the news with YouTube's updates and the fact that we can't use certain words. But if we allow Junkin Media to do this and continue doing this and propagate it, they're going to milk it for all it's worth. And other people are going to look at it and say, wow, they're making money because you know what a driving factor is? Money! And if Junkin Media extorts YouTubers and they're making all this money, we're going to see other companies crop up that do the exact same thing. And Junkin Media is going to get emboldened. And when a corporation gets really big, they get kind of dangerous because then they can actually affect law. Because remember, money is free speech. So in a sense, Juke and Media is also violating MXR Play's free speech by taking their money. Think about that one. Anyways, that's what I got on this one. It's an important story. Share it. It really is. It affects all aspects of freedom. Freedom of speech. Fair use. Freedom of expression. If we don't have freedom of expression, freedom of speech, and fair use, then whoever is controlling all that controls the narrative they control our thought because if you can't speak about it if you can't transform it and even do a parody about it or talk about it or discuss it or spread it then the only person that controls the narrative is the person that controls that video or that foot a uh, uh, footage and that's a horrible way to go we would be giving all the power to a very few and we've already gotten to a point where too much power is in the hands of too few i mean it's supposed to be a nation of the people by the people for the people and as part of the people i'm saying we can't allow juke and media to extort anybody like this first off it's fair use you don't owe any money anyways you haven't broken the law you haven't done anything wrong you're perfectly within your rights to take a video transform it discuss it in any way shape or form you want and that's a good thing. It's freedom of press, freedom of speech, freedom of expression. Anyways, let me know your ideas, your thoughts, your opinions. If you have an idea on what we can do to put the pressure on Juke and Media, uh, I know Jeremy's doing a good job of it uh, at the quartering, but if we can do something, throw ourselves behind it, that would be great. I would love to be able to get behind something that can make a difference. Throw your ideas out there. We're open. This is an open channel. All ideas are welcome. We don't believe in anything such as bad ideas. And hearing dissenting opinions is a good thing because then we can take someone else's point of view and our point of view, weigh the evidence of what they have given us against our evidence and come up with a real truth. So welcome. Anyways, leave your opinions, your thoughts, your ideas. I'll see you guys in the next one.